Hey, I'm Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to be talking about the new 180-degree TriGuard 2.0 cameras from Uniview. This camera consists of two lenses that are spliced together seamlessly, creating a single image with a resolution of 4096 by 1860. This gives us a 20 by 9 aspect ratio, which is slightly wider than a typical security camera with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This wider aspect ratio is what gives us these black bars above and below the image. By looking very closely at the center of the camera's view, we can see where the two lenses are spliced together. It's difficult to notice this splicing until something passes through the center of the camera. When this happens, we can see a slight ghosting effect as the person or vehicle transitions from one lens to the other. By shining a light into one of the lenses, we can easily see where this splicing occurs. We can also play around with the splicing distance by logging into the camera's web interface and clicking this icon at the bottom right. It's set to 10 by default. Lowering it will push the images further apart, while increasing it will push the two images closer together. I found that setting this to 50 resulted in less ghosting at the center of the image, but the ideal setting will vary depending on your specific camera's height and viewing distance. After installing this camera, I was immediately impressed by its image quality. During the day, the camera is able to read license plates clearly from 30 feet away, while at distances of 40 feet or greater, it starts to become blurry. Compared to a regular turret camera with a 2.8mm lens, this 180 degree camera can't see quite as far. A standard camera is able to see license plates clearly up to about 50 feet away. However, what this camera loses in distance, it gains in field of view, with the ability to monitor the entire plaza in a single panoramic image. At night, the image quality is very similar to how it was during the day. This is a very well-lit plaza, so there are no issues with low light performance here. I tried turning the white light on as well, to see if there was any difference, but I didn't notice anything, at least not in this scenario. I also tested this camera's low light performance by setting one up in the warehouse, turning off all the lights, and closing the door almost completely, letting in only a tiny sliver of light. With the lights off and the door closed, it was almost pitch black, but the camera could still see a surprising amount of detail. That's because it has excellent low light performance with a large f1.0 aperture to capture as much light as possible. If we set the day night mode to automatic, then the infrared lights will turn on automatically when it gets dark. This results in a nice clear view of the entire warehouse, although of course the image does become black and white. When ultra motion detection is enabled, any person or vehicle moving in front of the camera will cause the white lights to turn on. This is called dual light mode, and it's a feature that we're seeing more and more often in Uniview cameras. It allows your camera to remain discreet, with a nearly invisible infrared light turned on, and only to turn on the white light when there's movement. You can also set this camera to infrared mode or white light mode. This forces only the IR or only the white light to come on at night, giving you added flexibility for how you want to configure this camera. Setting up this camera on a Uniview NVR is relatively simple. You can directly connect it into one of the PoE ports on the back of the NVR and it will be added via plug and play. Or you can manually add it to the NVR using the IP address, username and password of the camera. The camera uses only a single channel on the NVR and it can be powered over one Cat5e or Cat6 Ethernet cable. It uses up to 12.6 watts of power, which means that you can use it with a regular PoE switch. It doesn't need to be a PoE Plus switch. This camera also has two built-in microphones, which helps to improve the audio quality. Here's an example of how it sounds.
One of the first things you should do when setting up this camera is to enable ultra motion detection since this is what allows the white light to turn on at night when it detects a person or vehicle. If you forget to turn on ultra motion detection and leave the camera set to regular motion detection, then the light will not trigger and instead the camera will stay in infrared mode. So make sure to enable ultra motion detection for best results. And don't forget to enable the recording trigger action so you get these little purple lines in playback whenever there's motion. This dual light mode can also be triggered by Uniview's intelligent VCA settings, such as crossline or intrusion detection. These settings give you the added flexibility to set the object's minimum and maximum sizes. So if you're getting any false alerts, you can dial in these parameters to completely eliminate them. Because this is a TriGuard 2.0 camera, it also has built-in red and blue strobe lights, as well as a speaker for two-way audio. Both of these can be triggered using ultra motion detection or one of the intelligent VCA settings as previously mentioned. To enable them, open the trigger actions menu in the NVR and tick the boxes for alarm sound and flashing light. You can also click these small gear icons to access more settings. Under the advanced settings for alarm sound, we can choose between 12 preset audio warnings, such as You are in the alert area. Please leave. And Please be aware. You are in the monitored area. You can also record your own sound through the Uniview Link app, up to 6 seconds in length. Here's an example. Under flashing light, you can adjust for how long the lights will flash when triggered. The default blink time is 10 seconds, but you can configure it anywhere between 5 to 60 seconds. And finally, you can adjust the schedule for the alarm sound and flashing light. I usually recommend setting this trigger late in the evening, starting at around 10 or 11 pm, and letting it end early in the morning around 5 or 6 am. Once you're done, be sure to copy the schedule to each day of the week as it only configures the schedule for Monday by default, then click OK to save the schedule. You can also manually trigger a warning sound with this camera. If you go into the Uniview Link app and open the camera in live view, you'll see an alarm button. Tap on the alarm button and you'll see two more options, trigger alarm and clear alarm. By tapping on trigger alarm, you can manually force the camera to make a siren sound. It will continuously play the siren noise for exactly 30 seconds, or until you push clear alarm. So, if you see someone suspicious on your property, make sure you push the alarm button to scare them away. This function also works with the TriGuard 2.0 fixed turret cameras, so if you have one of these installed, you can give it a try as well. Unfortunately, the trigger alarm button only plays sound. It does not trigger the flashing lights on the camera. It would have been nice to see both the flashing lights and the siren working together, so hopefully Uniview can add this in a future firmware update. A few more things before wrapping up this video. These 180 degree TriGuard 2.0 cameras come with an enhanced cable harness with audio inputs for connecting to an external speaker and microphone, as well as an alarm input and output for integration with other security systems. There's also a built-in microSD card slot hidden under the lens, which supports up to 512 gigabytes of storage. You can use the microSD card for redundant recording so that you'll have security footage even if the hard drive stops working, or you can use the microSD card to run the camera in standalone mode without an NVR. Underneath the microSD card slot, there's also a reset button. If you hold this button down for 10 seconds, the camera will restart and return to factory default settings. Alright, I think that pretty much covers everything there is to know about the Uniview 180 degree TriGuard 2.0 cameras. This is an exciting new product from Uniview and I'm really impressed with how it performs. Let me know what you think about this camera in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like if you learned something and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.